Hey Ashland families, welcome to back to school night, virtual back to school night. I know that this looks a little bit different than maybe what we are used to, but we are so excited nonetheless that we get to connect virtually. And um, yeah, so we're really excited about that. Some of you have been joining us in person and have been doing a phenomenal job, working hard every day. And some of you are doing Zoom and that virtual learning and you also have been working so hard. So before I jump in and get started, I just wanna say that I am so proud of you. I know that this has not been easy. Uh, there's a lot of different challenges and obstacles that we've had to overcome to get to where we are right now. So parents and students, I am super proud of you. Keep it up. We got this. That's what our, our shirt says um, and our slogan for Ashland this year. So keep at it. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump in. So a little bit about me. Uh, some of you might know that I have two little girls, Camden, who is in second grade, and Haley, who is in kindergarten. As you can tell by the picture, we are Raven fans. Uh, so. So please don't hold that against us. Uh, but yes, so that's my family. My husband, Matt, who has been a wonderful support during this time. He is at home helping our girls, getting them logged on Zoom and, and doing that virtual learning with them. So love my family. Uh, I have been working with individuals with special needs for the past 14 years, specifically uh, individuals with autism. I have a master's degree in special education with a concentration in applied behavior analysis. And I'm also a board certified assistant behavior analyst. So that is a little bit of my background. And currently I am in grad school for an administration and supervision certificate. So a lot of schooling and always more to learn. So it's been good and uh, definitely keeps me busy. In our classroom, we have two amazing teacher assistant, so Dina Fletta and Ashley Britton. Uh, Dina has been with me for the past couple of years since I arrived here at Ashland, and she has been a wonderful support. I love uh, the opportunity to work with her. And then Ashley Britton is new with us this year, and she is also really amazing. So we have a really awesome team. Uh, we work really well together. They are so supportive and loving and caring toward our students and always seeking to do what's best for them. So. Uh, your children are in really wonderful hands with our team that we have at Ashland. So our focus this year, and this is something that I shared in the beginning of the school year as well, these are things that we want to make sure that we're implementing when we are working on IEP goals or when we are working um, with content, anything, everything that we're doing, this is our focus for the year. So the first one is increasing independence improving social skills and effective ways to communicate, building our strengths to improve our weaknesses in all academic and social settings, connecting what we have learned to real life situations, and establishing a positive classroom environment by spreading kindness and compassion. Our classroom schedule, so this is our in-person classroom schedule and then our students who are doing Zoom or virtual, you guys have been given um, and I've worked with you and talked with you about a specific schedule that works well for your child and for your family. So this is in for our in-person students. So we come in at nine to 9.15 and we really jump right in. So we give them a few minutes to adjust. Uh, there's always something at their desk for them to attend to when they first walk in. And from there, we jump right into our morning meeting. And our morning meeting often involves, uh, we do the Pledge of Allegiance, of course. We have morning announcements, which are on Canvas. So even for our virtual students, you should have, if you jump on your Canvas, usually uh, Ms. Stroll has been doing a phenomenal job with having that play ready to go for us every single day. Um, so after we do that, we jump into calendar. Uh, we try to make sure we have a lot of consistency and structure in that. So some of our students, have calendar things in their binder that they go through. Um, and some of them are using their whiteboards and writing things down. And then we also have it up on our Promethean board. And so the students are able to get up and attend to that. So it's really cool. It's an interactive way to get the students up and moving at the start of the day. Uh, then we do snack and recess. And if you can see here, we actually have two recesses built into our day. We do not get to get out of our classroom as often as we would like. So we try to make sure we build in opportunities for our kids 
to get up and to get outside, um, or we'll go to the auxiliary gym. So that's just been really good for our students. And then you can read the rest. You can see the different content that we are touching on each day. And then when we also do Encore. So this is our classroom, a little bit of what it looks like. As you can see, each student has their own space. They have a desk, they have their own bin, and in that bin is their specific materials that they use. Uh, we have some other things. We have a trampoline in the back that some of our students like to access. We also have another area in the corner there for some of our students who need that space. And I just want to assure you that after a student is using those spaces, we are cleaning, um, making sure that we are cleaning all throughout the day. We actually have custodians who also come in during the day and they clean the desks, they clean the door frames, the doorknobs, everything. So that's uh, really encouraging that they're just making sure that safety is 100% the top priority for those students. So a little bit of virtual learning. So as I already said, for our students who are virtual right now, you have been given those times that we are meeting um, in Canvas, which I'm going to jump to next. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that, which I also showed you at the beginning of the year, but this will be another brief overview. Uh, so on there are ways you can access Zoom unless you've been given a specific Zoom link. Um, instruction, Encore is also on there, our class schedule, and my contact information. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment and I'm going to jump to the Canvas page. So please just bear with me here while I get that set up. Sorry, it takes me a minute to make sure <laughs> that this is what I need, I apologize. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Okay, so this is a little bit of a glance of my Canvas page. So as you scroll down, we have our welcome and then we have our classwork. So we have Monday through Friday. And I'll go over this whole page and then I'll touch on some of the different buttons. We have our Encore and when we're in person, this is actually how we are accessing our Encore classes as well, because not all of those are um, synchronous. A lot of them are asynchronous and pre-recorded. And so we've been jumping in on those and the Encore teachers are always available if we have a question or if we need help or support in something. And then at the bottom, we have the class info, meet the teacher, our daily schedule, newsletters. So for that one, I have I had the best intentions of wanting to send you a newsletter that would work. I do have a newsletter in there that's going to be specific for the month. For some of my families, um, it has made sense to touch base um, daily. And for some, it made sense to touch base weekly. So that is a little bit more specific to student need. And then this is if you need my contact information. So I'm going to jump in here really quick. So if I click on my Tuesday link, there is some information for my second grade and my third grade. So this will be applicable for some of my parents and my families. Um, and then this just this is a general education teacher, Ms. Keskel, who is also helping support one of our teachers. And she has put in a weekly agenda for our, some of our third grade students. So this is one thing that you can access. And then if I go down to the bottom, I can jump back to the home page. Encore. So when you select this button, we have second grade encore and third grade encore. And the lessons right now for both of those grade levels are the same. So K and one are the same, two, three, and then four, five. So it doesn't matter exactly which link you click. Some might be specific to, um, so like the counselors assist certain grade levels. So that might be a little bit different. So this is the Ashland Encore page. We have art, guidance, library, music, and PE. So if I clicked on Miss White, this would bring me to her lessons for the day. And so we are doing this with our students every day from 1 to 1.30. 
It's been really great. Um, it's just nice to see some different faces and to get our students interacting and um, just part of those lessons. So that is also a great resource. Let's see, I need to go back. So just a second. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. And so then, of course, you can click on any of these. If you wanted to hit on the contact me, this is simply my contact information. And then also, I will show you the spot and button. This might look a little bit different, but this is our newsletter. And this is the one for September. So it's just a brief overview of things that are happening, any important dates and reminders that we might have. Uh, something that I do wanna share with you guys, and that's here at the bottom, is there is information for grocery pickup. This is a phenomenal resource in Prince William County right now. It's available to all families, um, not just if you have a specific need. So anyone can access this resource. I know that Patty Elementary School is one of those schools, which is close by to Ashland, that you can, I don't know the exact time frame, so you would have to click on that link. And once you do, you can see when you can go and pick up different grocery items. So definitely a great resource. So I am going to stop share again, <laughs> jump back to the presentation. This is a little different than maybe what we're used to. Alrighty, thank you, thank you for being patient again. <laughs> Okay, so this is something that I shared just a little bit ago. This is my contact information. Um, you can always email me if you have questions, I'm available. I try my best to try and get back within 24 hours. During the school day, I don't always have um, the accessibility to get to my computer. I'm working with students during the day, so it becomes a little bit challenging. And then of course, I do post some different things uh, that's happening in the classroom. So you can always touch base on Twitter and follow me if you would like to see some of those things that are happening. And the last thing that I wanted to share is just some encouragement. I know I said this at the beginning about how proud I am of our students and of our families and parents. You guys are doing an awesome job and so, I just want to encourage you to keep going, keep doing it. And of course, if you have any questions, I am here as a resource. Happy to help you guys in whatever way I can. So thank you so much for watching this video, being part of Back to School Night virtually with me. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great school year. I'm looking forward to uh, helping your child grow and getting to continuing to getting to know them better. So thank you guys. Take care.